Completion of infusion. This video covers the operation when the infusion completes, detailing the available options. The video covers the basics. For full instructions on the Sapphire system, refer to the Sapphire's user manual, found on our website. The pump alerts when the infusion is done. According to the clinical order, either the infusion ends or another medication reservoir should be connected to continue the treatment. To allow preparation time, the pump can be set to alert when the infusion is coming to an end. The alert signaling the infusion is approaching the end can be set to different timings. For example, to alert 10 minutes before the infusion ends. In this case, the Sapphire pump alerts 10 minutes before end of infusion. Ending the treatment. Wait for the infusion to end. The pump beeps, signaling the completion of the infusion. Press OK to dismiss the message. If the pump is set to deliver KVO, press Stop to end the KVO. The pump can be turned off now. Continue the treatment with a new infusion bag or container. If the infusion should continue with additional volume, there are two options to handle the pump. One, use the repeat last option. Two, edit the infusion's VTBI. The repeat last option. Wait for the infusion to end. Connect the new medication reservoir and disconnect the patient and prime as needed. Select the repeat last infusion option from the startup screen Confirm the program and start. Edit the infusion's VTBI. Stop the pump. Connect the new medication reservoir. Disconnect the patient and prime as needed. Edit the VTBI on the pump. Enter the volume required according to the clinical order. and press Request Continue and OK on the confirmation screen. Using one of the above options will prevent the accumulated VI from being reset. Thus, the accumulated VI will continue to accumulate as long as the Repeat Last option or the Edit VTBI option are used. For more information on the Sapphire's operation, refer to the Sapphire's user manual, found on our website.